let us try to do some questions which are uh, based on the conjugate diameters show that show that the tangents at the ends of conjugate diameters of the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 intersect on intersect on another ellipse whose equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 2. It's so very simple guys you should be able to do it within Two minutes, I guess. Is that done? So, guys, this concept is quite easy. Uh, let's say uh, you want to draw the tangent at. Okay, uh, let's go back to the previous page. Or let me draw it here itself. Uh, let's say these are the two conjugate diameters. right and you are planning to make tangents at the ends of these diameters okay so i have to find the locus of this point h comma k right so guys pretty simple uh, let's say this point is a cos phi comma b sin phi then this point here would be minus a sin phi plus comma b cos phi okay let's try on the equation of the tangent uh, at this point so this tangent equation would be x by a cos phi plus y by b sin phi equal to 1 right and for the other point, you just don't have to do anything else. You just have to replace your uh, x1 with minus a sine phi. So it will become minus sine phi plus y by b cos phi equal to 1. So guys, on these two equations, my aim is to eliminate. My aim is to eliminate phi. Right? So if I want to eliminate phi, the process is pretty simple. Let me call this as 1. Let me call this as 2. So I will do 1 square plus 2 square. So when I do that, I'll get x square by a square cos square phi plus y square by b square sine square phi plus 2xy by a b sine phi cos phi plus x square by a square sine square phi plus y square by b square cos square phi minus 2xy a b sine phi cos phi is equal to 1 square plus 1 square that's 2 and if you see these two terms will get cancelled off these two terms will get cancelled off and you can club these two terms together you can club these two terms together and you can also club these two terms together thereby giving you the required locus of their point of intersection right that's going to be two so this is another ellipse so the locus of the point of intersection of tangents drawn at the extremities of or at two ends of a pair of conjugate diameters is going to be an ellipse So guys, next concept that we are going to uh, discuss now is the concept of director circle. Is the concept of director circle. Okay. So how do you define a director circle? So it's the locus of the point of intersection. Locus of the point of intersection. Of two perpendicular of two perpendicular tangents that 
drawn to the ellipse. Okay. So again, assuming this is your ellipse, so the locus of a point h comma k from where if you draw two tangents to the ellipse, these two tangents will be at right angles. So this locus would be a circle which is called the director circle and prove that the director circle for the standard ellipse, this, the equation of the director circle is, the equation of the director circle is x square plus y square is equal to a square plus b square. So I would like all of you to please prove this quickly and type done if you are done with that. Yes, anybody has any idea? All right, so we'll try to use the fact that uh, the equation of the tangent in the slow form, we all know that the equation of a tangent in the slow form is y equal to mx plus minus under root of a square m square plus b square, right? And since this point satisfies this line, I can say k is equal to mh plus minus under root of a square m square plus b square. That means k minus mh whole square is a square m square plus b square. That is k square plus m square h square minus 2 mhk is equal to a square m square plus b square. That means m square h square minus a square minus 2 hkm plus k square minus b square equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation has two roots m1 and m2 are the roots of this quadratic equation. Okay. And if m1 and m2 are the roots, we all know that since the, uh, the slopes are, since the lines are perpendicular, the product of the slope m1, m2 should be minus 1. So we know product of the roots is equal to c by a. So k square by b square by h square minus a square, that is equal to minus 1, which is nothing but k square minus b square is a square minus h square which means h square plus k square is equal to a square plus b square. And if you generalize it over here, if you generalize over here, we get x square plus y square as a square plus b square as the equation of the director circle, as the equation of the director circle. Is that fine, guys? Any question with respect to this? So let us take a question on the director circle. Tangents at right angles, tangents at right angles are drawn to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. Show that the locus of the midpoints of the chord of contact. Show that the locus of the midpoint of the chord of contact is the curve x square by a square plus y square by b square whole square equal to x square plus y square divided by a square plus b square. Yeah guys, any idea? If done, please type done. All right, so let's take the situation uh, through a diagram. So let's say, uh, <coughs> This is a chord and its midpoint is h comma k. This is a chord of contact made by tangents from point x1, y1 and these tangents are at 90 degree. Okay. 
So first of all, uh, can I write down the equation of a chord whose midpoint is known to me? Of course, we can write down the equation of a chord whose midpoint is known to me as t equal to s1. Right? So if you write that, you are going to get xh by a square plus uh, yk by b square is equal to h square by a square plus k square by b square. And in a similar way, I can also write down the equation of a chord of contact drawn from x1, y1. That is nothing but t equal to 0. So x, x1 by a square plus y, y1 by b square equal to 1. Right? Now, ideally speaking, in these two equations, these two equations stand for the same thing, a, b. So these two are actually the equations of these both are actually the equations of a, b. And hence they are same. And hence they are same. So if they are same, I can compare the coefficients of x, y and the constants on both the sides. So if they are same, comparing the coefficients of x, y and constant we get uh, something uh, x1 by h, y1 by k is equal to 1 by h square by a square plus k square by b square, right? Which means x1 is h by h square by a square plus k square by b square. y1 is k by h square by a square plus k square by b square. Now, guys, uh, clearly speaking, this uh, point x1, y1 over here, this lies on the director circle. This lies on the director circle. You cannot deny that because it's already given that this angle here is a 90 degree. So this has to lie on a director circle. And if it lies on the director circle, then you would not deny that the director circle equation should be satisfied by these two points. Oh, so, sorry, satisfied by these two coordinates. So these two will satisfy, these two should satisfy x square plus y square is equal to a square plus b square, right? Which means h square plus k square by h square by a square plus k square by b square whole square should be equal to a square plus b square, right? So if you just simplify this a bit, we'll get h square by a square plus uh, k square by b square whole square will be equal to h square plus k square by a square plus b square. Okay. And now we can generalize this. We can generalize this. And when you generalize this, you get x square by a square plus y square by b square whole square is equal to x square plus y square by a square plus b square, which is the required locus and hence proved. So guys, any question, please feel free to ask me.